All right, trying a little different lighting. I don't know. All right, let's see what we have for Gemini. Let's get right into it. Let's get right into it, Gemini. What do we have? What do we got for Gemini? Knight of Swords, expect nothing less. Okay. So, <laughs> shooting your mouth off. Yeah. So, somebody could be getting on your nerves or somebody has done something and you felt backed into a corner. The only thing you can do is come out swinging. That's what you do. Okay. If there's anyone that's better at that, mm, there aren't many. Okay. You know exactly what to do. You're very, very skilled. You have a very, very sharp mind. If somebody wants to come at you for something, you're going to, you're going to finish it. Okay. That's what I got. All right. There it is. There's that ace of swords. All right. So. You definitely shut somebody up. Two of Swords in Reverse. Ooh. The world. You shut somebody up. I kind of feel like somebody was sticking their nose in where it didn't belong. Somebody had no business talking about something, mentioning something, and giving their opinion. If you didn't even ask for it, you ever have that? These people that think that they're so great and they want, and you know, we're all guilty of it. All right. <laughs> but I think in this position or in this situation, it's something that you didn't want to hear and you kind of shut it up really, really quick. You shut it down. You definitely shut it down. All right. I don't know what that's about, but it feels like it's done. I feel like something happened and it's done. All right. So let's move on. Romantic love, Gemini. Six of Swords. Hmm. Perhaps it was somebody that you were... <laughs> Perhaps it was a romantic partner. Okay. Mm. Did you break up with somebody recently? Seven of Swords. Okay. So, this feels like it could have been something. Uh, let me see. All right. This could have something to do with combat. W A R. Somebody may have given their political ideas or beliefs. And you may have come at them with something else, a different way of looking at something. You could have been pretty brutal about it very quick. All right. Now, let's, uh, that's done too. All right. Let me tell you what I'm getting right here. There's a new sheriff in town, and their name is Gemini. <laughs> That's literally what I'm getting. <laughs> this is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay. Or wherever it is that you have very, very strong placement. Okay. Um, take whatever resonates for you and leave the rest. Just know that these are not personal readings. These are readings that are coming out. They're, they're from a, a basically a pool of multiple energies. Okay. So, um, what that means is there are other people that have energies, feelings, ideologies, thoughts, whatever, feelings. That means that everything in this reading may not be yours. It could be somebody else's thought, somebody else's action. So, take it how it resonates for you. Okay? Two of Hazards. Now, the move on king, the move on queen, I feel like, this is interesting, I feel like you've shut down a couple of things or a couple of people 
and you're definitely moving on. Somebody tried to do something to outsmart you and I feel like you quickly <laughs> turned it around, all right? I feel like you're already talking to somebody else. If not, then this is what's the energy that's going to be happening very, very soon, okay? If this isn't, if this isn't you, then this is somebody that the Gemini is dealing with. So which part do you want to admit to? All right. Because whoever this is, they have a very, very quick turnaround rate. Okay. Once they blow that off, once they piss that one off, hey, there's another one over here. I got plenty. I got plenty. There's no starvation here. I got plenty. Okay. This is very short, sweet, and to the point. Okay, what's next for Gemini? Romantic love. Temperance, strength, and reverse. I'd be careful. There could be a Leo or Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising. Next in line. Okay. Both of which you, you would get along very, very well with, I feel. Um... But there's always that, you know. <laughs> oh, success. Okay. So whatever it is that you have eliminated, okay. Literally, it's eliminated. Um, and there's literally, there's no hard feelings. Okay. Technically, there's no hard feelings. Now, they may feel different about it. But the, the fact of the matter is this. If people are not getting along then maybe it's time to take a break, move along. Okay, so why waste time? Life is too short, okay? That's, at least that's the consensus I'm getting from this energy in this reading. I'm just the messenger, okay? This is how somebody feels about something. Why, why should I waste time trying to fix this? If it's not working, then let's move on. Let's do something else, okay? Um, if not, then, you know, hey, if we can't see eye to eye with something and we can't figure something out and we can't come to some kind of cordial agreement, then F it. Let's move on. You can find somebody else just like I can find somebody else. It's no hard feelings. Nice knowing you. Okay. Whatever's next in line is uh, a much better fit for you. Okay. Tell me about this person that's coming in for Gemini. Nine cups smooth smooth oh i'm getting you know oh what a smooth talker you are you are from my cousin Vinny, marissa tome yeah this person's a winner this person is a winner this person is a star they are a winner okay oh six of wands in reverse somebody might okay yeah <laughs> Eight of Wands in reverse. Ace of Hazards. Okay. Now, I would be careful about being too cocky because energy matches energy. Whenever you're in a certain or particular energy, that energy will come right back to you. So if you are arrogant, cocky, or something like that with another person, it's one thing if you're kind of like setting the record straight and being like, look, you know, amicably, yada, yada, yada. But if you're going to be very arrogant and cocky, then, you know, the energy is going to get put out there and it's going to come right back. So be careful about getting a dose of your own medicine. There could be somebody that maybe uh, comes in and they might be like, okay, you know, the universe was like, you know, I see your two cents. I'm going to match it. Okay. It's a very funny universe that we live in. All right. Five of Swords. There could be a fact that everywhere that you go, there could be conflict. It's very, very possible. And I'm not saying that to insult you. Okay. But maybe there's some kind of a pattern, you know, and it could be multiple reasons for that. I don't know. I'm not a psychologist. All I know is I read energy. Okay. So basically, you know, there could be something that you're doing or something that you're displaying 
you know, that is just not on the same frequency as other people, or you're just kind of hanging around the wrong people. You're picking up the wrong people. Maybe you need to kind of do something to find people that you basically fit in with or you mesh with. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, it's a very good possibility. Now, could this be cool? Yes. I mean, because, you know, you have somebody that could be just as arrogant as you and you might have to be able to roll with the punches with whatever this is. I mean, it's the Ace of Hazards in, in the upright, which is the uh, Hazards is Pentacles in this deck. So, Tower. Now, I feel like you're meeting your match. That's exactly what it is. a battle of the wits it's like a battle of the wits who can outsmart the other you know life doesn't have to be like that it really doesn't but if that's what kind of gets your gears going then it is what it is you know some people like conflict some people get into certain things because it's what motivates them some people like to argue so they become attorneys Sometimes they like to argue, so they become debaters. Um, some people like knowledge and they like to study, so they become teachers or philosophers. You know, where do you fit in this equation? Some people like to perform. Some people like to have people look at them, so they become performers. You know, they become singers. Some people like to make people laugh. They become comedians. Okay. So what is it that you do that you're good at? Apparently you're good at <laughs> upsetting a lot of people. So, you know, maybe there's something that you need to kind of like, maybe you're like missing out on your talent or something like that. Maybe there's something that you could be doing that could be useful rather than upsetting everyone and causing hearts break broken and breaking your own heart. Maybe there's something that you could be putting all that energy into rather than what it is that you're doing right now. Okay. Um, I don't know. I'm just reading the energy. I'm just I'm just, I'm just telling you what it was what's, what's kind of coming to me. Okay. You could definitely be coming to the truth about whatever this is. Now, the, whoever this person is, that this new person, I kind of it's it's ornery. I mean, I like it, and but this might be something that you like though. It's almost like you could be you might get involved with too, too many people that are touchy-feely and maybe that's not really your thing. I don't know. There's that Leo again. Sun. Four of Wands. Yeah. I feel like you're definitely meeting your match. That's what I'm getting. So you've gotten rid of, you know, so this is basically a time period of cleaning house. So it's actually an early spring cleaning. So you could be dealing with a bunch of people or dealing with some people. You're like, you know what, this, this, you know, it's just, it's just not working anymore. I think maybe I just need to kind of like, I need a break. And then in doing that, you're going to start to go towards certain things that you like. And then you're going to meet somebody who could be a very good match for you. Um, and whoever this other person is, it's almost like, and I don't see it as necessarily as like violence or anything like that. Um, I see it as you finding somebody that you just have a lot more in common with. You know, and this again could even be something that's sarcastic. A lot of times, um, fighting sometimes, like the Five of Swords or even the Five of Wands, can sometimes come across in, in a tarot reading. It may not be, you know, so brutal and so aggressive, it could just be banter and sarcasm. So, I kind of feel like that's what a lot of what this is. Okay, you could be, you know, you ever get involved with somebody or you're friends with somebody who everything that you say is just like man it's so offensive and it's just like dude i'm just making a joke so do, do you understand that you know sometimes people find exaggerations of things funny okay and that could be what your position is, is sometimes some people are just too serious you know there's different people out there it doesn't mean somebody's bad or or, or evil it's just we all find things different we all find funny or humor in different things. We all find different things beautiful. It's a matter of choice. It doesn't mean somebody's bad or wrong for it, you know. So I feel like you're definitely going to be meeting your match very, very soon. It kind of feels more playful. It really does. All right. So 
justice. Yeah, that's what I got. All right, Gemini. I like this. This is actually really, really cute. So, all right. If you like the reading, why don't you give me a thumbs up, please. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Um, that's it. Give me a like, comment, share, follow if this is going to a different platform. All right. Good luck. I'll see you around and have a good weekend.